So welcome to the next episode of the Explain series, and this uh, is going to be a question and answer session on circumcision. Does having a foreskin uh, or a uh, or not a foreskin affect your risk of penile cancer? Well, we talked about uh, if you have a foreskin, there's tissues underneath and the foreskin tend to be a little bit more sensitive. Um, and uh, can cause micro uh, cracks and therefore viruses can get in, for example, uh, HPV. Now, HPV is a human papilloma virus. And it's commonly associated with genital warts. So a lot of people get the vaccines now, and so genital warts are becoming a little bit unpopular in the younger age groups. Uh, however, um, there are other forms of HPV virus out there, and they can cause, for example, penile cancer. Um, and they're the same types that can cause cervical cancer as well. And so removing the foreskin can toughen up the glands of the penis uh, and it can um, uh, protect against uh, penile cancer. Um, and obviously a very, very dirty penis is not cared for. Uh, yes, you get built of a smegma, yes, you can get infections. Uh, but if that dirt accumulates too much in later life, uh, you can get uh, penile cancer as well. So there was a study done in Victorian boys who used to clean the chimneys. Uh, so this was very, very old science. And it showed that Victorian chimney sweep boys were more likely to have penile cancer uh, than boys that didn't go up the chimneys.